Safari is the default web browser that comes with all iPads. You can download additional web browser apps such as Chrome from the App Store, but you can't change your default browser like you can on most devices, so web links and emails will always open in Safari. When you open Safari, you can use the address bar to directly type in a web address, or you can use the search bar to enter your search terms. To open a new tab in Safari, use the plus icon to the right of all open tabs. Tap the X to close a tab. When you are on a page with a text article, the Reader button often appears. Tapping this button brings up a cleaner view of the page with the text and main images, but without the advertisements or other menu and sidebar items. Tap Reader again to exit this view. You can also use the search bar to search for matches on the page that you are currently on. Simply tap on the search bar and use the Find on Page feature to search the current page only. To bookmark a page in Safari, tap the forward arrow icon and choose Bookmark. Name the bookmark and choose Save. Tapping this forward arrow icon also allows you to email or print the article along with various other options. One of these options is to add the link to the website to your iPad's home screen. This is a great time saver for frequently used web pages. For example, even though Schoology has a downloadable app, students often use a web browser to access content more successfully, so it's a great idea to add a shortcut to the Schoology login page to your iPad's home screen. Finally, Safari comes with a bookmark to Apple's iPad user guide, which is a great resource for all of your iPad questions. Tap the book icon to access this and your other bookmarks. Browser apps allow you to access the web on your iPad, and it's a good idea to have at least two browsers on your iPad, just as you should on your laptop as a first sign of troubleshooting, since different web tools behave differently in different browsers. Take a moment to download a second web browser, such as Google Chrome, and then spend some time exploring the features Safari offers so that you are able to search, surf, and bookmark with ease.